Hi friends, welcome to another edition of Quick Tip videos brought to you by dataplatformcentral.com. In this edition of the Quick Tip video, we are going to see an Azure Data Factory tip, which is how we can implement an automatic file processing system using event triggers. Quite often in your projects, you will have the data coming in files through an automated process. And usually you will have a landing area for the files. So one of the common examples would be an Azure Blob Storage where you will have files coming inside. And you would require designing a system which can process each one of these files automatically without any intervention whatsoever. So this video is about how you can implement an automatic file processing system as and when the file gets loaded into your Azure Blob Storage. So for this illustration, we'll be using an Azure Blob Storage where Excel files will keep on coming with sales data and we will have a Azure Data Factory package which will process the file automatically when it arrives inside Azure Blob Storage and on successful processing, the file gets moved to an archive location. So let's see how we can implement this functionality. The setup for the illustration consists of a Azure Blob Storage account set up inside an Azure portal. And inside that we have set up two containers called file source and archive. The file source represents the source container into which the files gets uploaded. As and when the files get uploaded, the file processing system will be picking up the files and processing it. Once the processing is done, the file will be transferred to the archive container which is set up inside the Azure portal. We also have a set of files which we will be using for the test run of the package that is set up inside the folder. We will be copying the files as and when required to the file source in this illustration but in the actual case you can even have an automated another process picking up the files or generating the files and pushing them down to the Azure blob storage and the files that we have used in this case are Excel files and the Excel files are going to contain some sales data. So if you see a typical file, it will consist of order ID, customer ID, order status, date, required date, ship date, etc. So this is sales data. Also, we have set up a table inside an Azure database where we'll be transferring the data from these files. Now let's look at the package that we have set up for performing this automated file transfer. So the package will consist of two copy data activities inside a pipeline. The first copy data will help in the actual data transfer from the files, the Excel files to the Azure SQL database where we have set. And the second copy data will archive the file once the first data transfer activity is successful. Now if you look at the copy data activity for the data transfer, it points to a source location and it is of type Excel and it points to the location which corresponds to the blob storage, the file store source container inside the blob storage where the files are going to come. And if you see the sync, it consists of the Azure database that we have set up. It points to a table called sales data and it is uh, we have create, uh, set the auto create option here. So what this will do is like in case the table doesn't exist when it runs for the first time it will automatically create the table and then it will transfer the data. And the mappings and all are we are using the default mapping. So the all the columns that is coming inside the file will be transferring as it is to the table by creating the corresponding columns because you have set auto create table to true. That's the advantage of using auto create option so that the table will be dynamically created based on the columns that we get from the Excel sheet and automatically the column data will be transferred. And then the second part is the copy data activity where we will have a binary source and a binary sync. And both of these binary linked services will point to the Azure Blob Storage itself. So when you are creating it, you need to, when you click on new option, you need to go to Azure and click the Azure Blob Storage. And when you click on continue, you need to select the binary option. So binary option is the easiest option by which you can transfer a file from one location to another without parsing the data inside. 
so that's why we are using a binary option here from the source to the sync the source will correspond to the file source container the sync will correspond to the archive container so the file will be moved as it is from the file source to the archive folder now the important part that we need to see here is actually a event trigger that we will be creating and associating this particular pipeline to so that this pipeline will be automatically executed when a file gets created inside the source folder. So for this purpose you can go to the trigger option and there is an option for new edit and we have already added the trigger. So if you open the trigger the trigger will be of uh, it points to the uh, file source folder and it will be of type event trigger so when you, are when you are trying to create the trigger you need to choose new trigger option and then there is a type of trigger called storage events this is what you should use when you are planning to create an event trigger based on the file creation so when you choose this you will get an option like which uh, folder it should locate to so we will point to our Azure subscription point to our uh, account name and point to the container name of file source which is our source container and then we will have a wildcard property where we will set like look for excel file so we will put dot xlsx so that it looks for the excel files and click on blob created so that whenever a new file gets created this trigger will get invoked so this is how you set up this trigger so once you have set up this trigger and published all these changes automatically if you go to the manage tab you can see the trigger there and it will be activated immediately if it is not activated by some due to some reason you need to go and activate it yourself generally when you try to do it for the first time sometimes you will get an error telling that the subscription doesn't have even grid uh, resource provider activated and the trigger will be in disabled state in such case what you need to do is like you need to go to your home page of your Azure portal and uh, you need to go to the subscription that you are using and inside the subscription you have a resource providers you need to go to the resource providers and you need to search for event grid resource provider so if you search for event grid resource provider you will get that event grid resource provider it should be registered in some cases it might not be registered it will be it will be showing like not registered in that case you need to select it and click on the there will be a register button click on that so that it will get registered and once it is registered you need to come back to the package go to this manage tab and then activate the trigger and then it will get activated so currently it is in the activated stage so now that we have the package and we have the trigger being activated what we can do is like we can go and try adding a file to that so if you go and check the table currently the table will not have any data so currently you don't have any data inside sales data table now let's try putting a file inside the file source so let's now select the first file so we are going to select the first file which is June to August 2019 and upload it to the blob storage so now the file is uploaded now if you go and check the monitoring tab you can see that the trigger will automatically start executing your package so the trigger has already started executing our package because it found a new file inside the location after a while once the package gets executed if you go and check the data you can see the data being uploaded into the table the pack package is now success so let's go and check the count inside the table so now you have 242 rows which is transferred from the file now you go and check the file source the file will not be there because it will get archived so the file is not there go to the archive and check the file will be there so it's archived now let's try adding the next file so like this as and when you add new files to this automatically the package gets executed and it will automatically transfer the data to the Azure database table so now you have again added the next file go and check the monitor you can again see the trigger being executed see it's now again executing the package because a new file has been added so every time a file has been added the event based trigger will get fired and it will automatically execute it transfer the data and it will archive the file now let's check it once again after the package is success we can see that from 242 it became 495 now and now if you go and check the source you will not see the file and go to the archive you should see two files there so as you see automatically every time a file comes it automatically the package gets fired by the event based trigger 
package will start executing it will do the data transfer using the first copy activity and then it will archive the file to a archive folder so this gives an example of a self-starting file processing system as and when the file gets created inside blob storage and this is implemented with the help of event-based trigger and that is why we need to have event grid uh, resource provider being enabled for your subscription for using this facility hope this will give you a start on how this kind of self-starting file processing systems can be implemented for your project as usual keep sending your feedback and subscribe to my channel for seeing such useful videos in future click on bell icon for getting the notifications see you all soon with another useful tip till then bye and thanks for your time